Hi friends, welcome back. My name is Addie of Well Loved Clothing, where we love everything vintage, thrift, sustainable, and self-expressive. So today I have a giant pile of goodies to go through because it's kind of like a part two to last week's video. And hopefully we're on a little bit of a more consistent video train because I know I have taken so many breaks through pregnancy. I am still very much so big pregnant, but I'm hoping to be back on here more consistently. So thank you so much for just being the best community ever while I've taken some breaks through pregnancy. But this giant pile is what we are going through today because like I said, it's kind of a part two of last week's video where I went thrifting with you for some fall pieces, for some maternity pieces, for some baby clothes and all kinds of goodies. So we're just going to try on anything that we can because some of them are definitely for not pregnant body clothing anymore. <laughs> there are also a few pieces in this thrift haul today that I did not thrift in last week's video, but they're just some pieces that I'm really excited to style for fall and that I think should live in the thrift haul on the Well Loved page. So we are going to try on whatever pieces will fit me at the moment in this amazing, very fall-y thrift haul. You can kind of tell from the colors that we're going a little fall neutral vibes, but we're going to try each piece on. I'll give you some styling tips and we'll just go through this little fall thrift haul together. So let's do it. Okay, so we are starting with some tops today. This one is probably my favorite top that I got in this haul. I just love the pattern on this. So I did thrift this in last week's video and it does not button over my bump right now, but I usually wear button downs open anyway. So I've worn this a couple of times to just add a little bit of fun to like a tank top and jeans sort of outfit. But I also love the idea of doing this underneath overalls to add just kind of this floral girly touch to it. And it's just such a perfect fall shirt. I love pattern button downs to layer underneath jumpsuits or even do like a blazer with some shorts with this would be so cute and like a little boot. But my favorite part about this top is the texture. It just has this really beautiful lightweight suede kind of feel to it and texture just adds so much to such a simple piece but that suede gives it kind of a luxe feel. The pattern is just something a little unexpected and I also love how high this little scoop on the side goes too. And button downs are really my go-to fall piece whether I'm doing it under something or layering it over something and even doing it kind of like a jacket because especially being in the south we still have some hotter days in the fall so this is the perfect fall shirt for that next up we have this super cute little band tee i don't typically go for tees that are this fitted and i know it's still kind of loose and will definitely be loose once baby is out but i wanted something that had that perfect kind of oversized sleeve but was shorter because typically my sleeves are like down to my elbow so i really just liked the fit of this shirt being a little bit oversized it's very like simple band tee but also with the kind of retro design and the fun colors i thought it would be great to layer under sweater vests or even just to do an open cardigan and maybe like a pattern skirt. I've been looking for more graphic tees because I feel like I typically want to do like a patterned bottom and a simple jacket and then a graphic tee because it feels like you're print mixing but adding something kind of fun and bright to your outfit. So this is just the perfect design for that. And if I don't want to show off the design, it still fits really well underneath different sweaters and sweater vests to just have that little like white collar poking out or like a little sleeve from a vest. So simple graphic tees but still with a kind of bold design are just one of my favorite pieces for ball. I just love this top. I feel like I've had a lingerie style kind of blouse on my thrift list for quite some time. I can usually find like slip dresses or even sets or robes, but I've been wanting this kind of like floaty girly top with a kind of pajama vintage feel. I've been looking for the perfect one for maybe like a year now and especially since I'm a white puffy blouse girl this creamy white fabric is just so beautiful and I love the kind of slight see-throughness of it it adds to that sort of lingerie feel but what I'm super excited about is that it's a full button down too because I can do it like bed jacket kind of style even doing like a cream tank top or maybe like an ochre and a little pattern pant and throwing this on maybe even tying it up just for like that touch of vintage to it but the lace details on this is just gorgeous it 
gives this little like square neck effect at the top. The lace goes around the arm, the bottom, and then to these little puffy sleeves. And I could totally wear this backwards too with the buttons in the back and it would have this beautiful lace yoke on it too. But another way that I've seen these worn that I love is just like half unbuttoned, tucking in one side to a pair of high-waisted jeans or a colored trouser. Maybe even mixing some linen with it to get that silky fabric with some more of like a rough natural fiber. Or even like a corset top over this would play even more with that lingerie feel. So I am just loving this shirt and I'm so excited to style it in so many different ways. Next up is just a really simple tee. This is really perfect for layering. I love the color. I love that it still kind of plays with that like buttery yellow thing, but in person it's a little bit more of like a greeny, kind of citrine chartreuse color. And so I love that it's kind of this off color. I think it would look really pretty with some browns and some deep rust and even adding some pops of orange or like sherbet to it. But my favorite part about this is that it almost borderlines on a mock neck because it has this high tight neck to it. I love a high neck tee or layering piece because I feel like that's what really gives the full effect of the piece that you're layering over the top of it. So I could do like a broader kind of neckline of a sweatshirt over this and give a little bit of that like Princess Diana turtleneck feel without either being too hot or just adding a pop of color to something too. So I easily see this shirt pairing with like some spaghetti strap dresses, but I also like the idea of pairing this yellow with an unexpected colored bottom and doing a little pattern jacket with it and just having it be kind of a simple outfit with just a few details that make it interesting. So this is a really great basic for me. I just love this sweater. And yes, you're getting the full effect of the belly band because this is a little cropped and I just didn't really want to change my pants at this point, honestly. So sorry, but not sorry. I love this sweater. This was from a quick thrift trip that I just ran into one of my thrift stores really fast. I had like 10 minutes and I found this and it is just so cute. It is all of my colors with that beautiful kind of awkward yellow, similar to the t-shirt I just had on, but that peachy kind of pinky orange too that I just love. But I think I'm going to have so much fun pairing it with patterns. I already think it'll look really cute with my pink checked high-waisted trousers or even like my bold orange ones. But it has a lot of potential for color blocking and pattern mixing. And it's one of my favorite shapes. And so I'm really leaning into this shape of sweater recently. So this is just the perfect shape, the perfect colors. This is from some random boutique brand. I don't, Mabel maybe? I don't really know. But I just realized I haven't told you some of the other brands. So that yellow t-shirt I just had on was Zara. Bed jacket thing is vintage Gilead, I think it says. The Doors t-shirt is the Doors merch and the floral button down is Liz Claiborne and I'm led to believe that it's vintage because of the tag on it. So I think I'm gonna leave this sweater on while I try on a couple of bottoms. I know one pair won't fit me, but I really wanna try on this skirt. So we are going to move on to bottoms now. Okay, so this skirt is just going to be something that I'll probably grab a million times. And I know that it's a simple neutral, but I think it's so fun to pair simple neutrals even with this really bold kind of fun sweater. And I feel like it's that perfect, lightweight, little bit of a prairie touch. It has just enough details where it's not boring, but it's also not so detailed that you can't pair it with everything. But to me, this is the perfect skirt length. It's like just above the ankle so you can really show off whatever shoe you're wearing. And I think that this would be so cute like with that graphic tee and then maybe doing like a big denim shop coat and like a chunky sneaker I think would be really great to have a casual outfit but pairing it with this kind of ladylike feminine skirt but I also love that it has this really subtle kind of pattern to it and the checks have just like a little bit of green in them and so it kind of brings its own colors to play too and while yes it does fit me above my bump really well right now it has this amazing smocked back and so I know that it'll fit around a waist really nicely so I I thought it was a really versatile skirt for now and for later as I'm transitioning through fall and transitioning into motherhood. But this is just some little vintage brand that I hadn't heard of before, so I love this skirt. Okay, these I just had to show you. I knew they would not fit and I got them anyway, even though I'm really trying to not get a ton of stuff that won't fit me until I know what size I am after I have this baby. But these plaid pants were just way too good. So you can see that amazing yellow 
and blue. They also have some like deeper kind of rust orange colors. And I am always in the market for a great pair of plaid pants or just pattern pants in general, especially for fall doing like pattern pants and a fun sweater. I just feel like makes me feel so me and so put together. And of course with the elastic high waist on these and the cute little pockets, I could not resist. They do have elastic at the bottom of the leg. So they give a little bit of like a parachute vibe, but I'm wondering if I took off the elastic at the bottom, if they would be a little more of that like wide kind of straight leg that I prefer. And I think that they're actually handmade because there isn't a tag in here and just from the seams and whatnot. But it's a great lightweight fabric, so it'll be perfect for the Southern kind of fall. It would also be really cute with just like a little simple tank top in the summer, maybe some chunky jewelry and like a Doc Martin style chunky boot. Just maybe play with the punk elements of the plaid, but also having kind of a casual outfit based around that. Even pairing with another plaid or doing like a checkered sweater, honestly. Probably not this one. Maybe though. I don't know, probably not this one, but I have some other patterns that I would definitely mix with these. So super excited for when I can fit in these again. <laughs> Okay, so we have moved on to dresses now and I have a ton of really adorable dresses I've just been wearing so many dresses through pregnancy that I think that's really what I'm like focused in on and honing in on wearing especially because they're just so comfy and I feel like I find so many good ones thrifting. So we're starting with this amazing kind of house dress and I'm pretty sure that it's handmade just because of some of the details and the styling of how they did certain things and hems and whatnot. There is no brand tag in it so I do not know but I was really drawn to the pattern and colors. It kind of feels like a negative of a print but with these amazing bold colors it's just such a fun look. I also liked the versatility of it because it has this waist tie but if you take out the waist tie it kind of has the more like house dressy feel and then this piece up here also unties and there's a little zipper at the neck and so it's very much so house dress style but I love that that kind of gives it an entirely different feeling and a much more casual edge instead of like the fitted waist and the buttoned up kind of top so my favorite way to wear these kinds of house dresses are sort of making them a little more prairie with like a chunkier kind of cowboy boot or workwear boot. So especially with these really cute feminine details, like the little ruffle at the bottom. And then I really like a wide brim hat with these, maybe even braids and a big shop coat. That's really how I'm loving styling up this kind of dress. But I do think that you could also do the tied waist and do like a cute little sandal with it. And it would be such an adorable kind of nicer, maybe brunchy sort of outfit. But with a pattern like this and so many great colors to work off of, you could pair it with an ochre yellow or even like an evergreen or even doing like a turtleneck underneath. I would probably do my like chartreuse yellow turtleneck with it and my white go-go boot. That is one of my favorite combos to throw under really any dress. So I have a ton of ideas for this and I'm really excited to style this up in a bunch of different ways through a bunch of different seasons. So before we continue on with dresses, I will show you some of the baby clothes I got because I did get a few things for this little guy. <laughs> I showed y'all a few of these things in the last video, but I just can't resist because they're all so cute. So I got this little pair of shorts. These are just some great little Chino shorts. They are Cat and Jack, so it's just the Target brand, but they're a six to 12 month size. So I did get a couple of things that were for a little bit bigger, but these are just too cute. And really anything that it feels like my husband would wear, if I see it in baby clothing, I'm like, I have to get it because it's just really cute. I also love a sweatpants baby. And so I got some really cute little green sweatpants. These ones are, I have no idea what they are, no brand. So these ones are really cute. And then I also got a little rest pair of sweatpants and I just loved the pockets, the little kind of jogger style. And I also don't know the brand on these ones, but it's super fun to unlock a new section of the thrift store. I also got a new in-package mushy silicone bib, which these, I can't remember how much these are, but I got this one for a dollar. Also, all of these clothes were, I think both pairs of sweatpants were a dollar. The shorts were a dollar and then this was a dollar. So crazy to get a new bib like that. This little shirt was just a dollar 20. It's just a really cute little waffle knit Henley. Again, just a little cozy baby shirt, love it. And then my favorite piece, of course, are the overalls because I am an overall gal. And I got the little vintage Old Navy ones. I just love the little logo on the front 
front and that they're snap crotch. But I cannot wait to have him wearing all of the overalls and all of the jumpsuits. I also got just this really cute little lavender hat. I have been wearing so many hats recently and I've been loving styling with hats and making something that's not super casual, really casual. So I've been looking for some more colors of hats and I just loved this little lavender one. So on to more dresses. This is just a mom dress to me in the best way possible. I feel like this is what all of the moms were wearing in like the 90s and with good reason because this is just so cute and so comfortable and I'm so glad that it fits me right now. So of course the main reason that I got this is comfort but also because of this amazing patchwork on the bottom in this beautiful light yellow and they went one step further which we always love to see with the details in doing the neckline and the sleeve in that same kind of checkered yellow and it does have a little waist tie that that can usually go around the back, but I kind of liked it around the front to just add another sweet kind of detail because this dress feels very sweet. And so for styling with these kind of sweeter dresses, I really like to juxtapose some more masculine kind of details. So doing like a big heavy leather jacket, probably in like a cognac brown, and then matching like a workwear boot with that jacket, I think would be such a fun combo to let this kind of like sweeter skirt stand on its own as the feminine piece and then just add some heavier elements to it. I also think you could do some black leather with it, make it a little motorcycle kind of feel too, maybe some chunky jewelry, but you can also treat this bottom just as a skirt and pair any sweater over the top of this. So I have a feeling that I'll get a ton of wear out of this year round because it's very kind of springy, early summery, but we can make it fall with those like heavier kind of leather details. So love this dress. This jumpsuit is just everything. <laughs> I love this jumpsuit. It's just bump comfy, but this is actually not a maternity piece, but it's just a size or two bigger than the size that I normally wear. But I love the wide leg on it. I feel like it balances my shape really nicely. So it has these cute little like seamed kind of pockets around the side. This little tie that ties in the front. I'm going to make it to where I can tie it in the front or back because I prefer to tie these in the back. But for now, it's really cute with the little ribbon here. And then it also has these kind of like sleeve details, but the color of this is so beautiful. This deep green is just gorgeous. And it has like a little bit of a keyhole back too. So I just loved all of the details on this. It's a really stretchy jersey cotton, which is just so comfortable for me right now in the future whenever I want to wear this. And I've been wearing this in casual ways. I've been tossing clogs on with it, doing my wide brim hat and a button down over the top of it for a little more of an elevated outfit. And I've been living in this jumpsuit and I will probably continue to live in this jumpsuit for a while. So you're going to see a ton of it. <laughs> okay. This piece is not so much of a dress as it is just kind of a robe outer layer, but I've been looking for some kind of dramatic over pieces that aren't just like button downs or jackets to layer, especially since it's warmer here in the fall. I really wanted some layering pieces that would bring some visual interest and some different kind of lengths to what I've been wearing. So I just looked at this not too long ago. It's kind of kimono, kind of robe, but I love the drama of it. I love how long it is. Like it's longer than the kind of jumpsuit pant that I'm wearing, but with the dramatic length of it, I love that it has this kind of shorter sleeve too. It's just unexpected and kind of fun. And I think it is just handmade because there's no branding or anything. And it's also the pattern on it is corn. It's like little ears of corn. So it feels like a really fun kind of fall quirky piece, but the colors are beautiful. I can wear it with an ochre jumpsuit and it would be a really cute little look, but I can also throw it on with jeans or like a flowier pant and a simple tank top. And it would just add some personal style to an outfit. So I'm really excited to add this to my wardrobe and just see what I can do with it because it's just got a lot of potential and a lot of weird to add to any look. Okay, another absolutely amazing find that I'm so excited to wear, but it does not fit me right now. Well, it kind of fits me, but I can't button like the three middle buttons around my bump. And that was just not the cutest look for right now, but it is this amazing jumpsuit. I love the color of this piece. I always get so excited when I thrift jumpsuits, especially when they're in such good condition and such a cute shape. I've been really into the kind of oversized pieces too. And so I think that this will be so good once I have baby to just like hang out around the house in 
in, but also run some errands in. Maybe even throw that little robe over and have like just an interesting, simple kind of outfit. It is linen and it has these really cute buttons on the front and just little bucket pockets. So it gives me kind of free people vibes too. I feel like I could do a big quilt coat over this or even do like Birkenstocks and socks kind of casual feels and it would just have this sort of outdoorsy girl interesting look. But as per usual with my jumpsuits, especially ones that have great open necklines like this, I will absolutely be doing patterned turtlenecks or colored turtlenecks and maybe even unbuttoning it a little bit to give even more of that turtleneck and pairing it with hats and jackets and just jumpsuits are my absolute favorite and I'm so excited to wear this one whenever I can. <laughs> Since I just showed you that piece that doesn't fit me right now, I figured why not just keep the train going and show you the pink dress. This dress makes me so happy from this adorable little ruffle at the bottom to the length, to the puff sleeve, to the tie front. It actually has a little like tie front bust piece right here that does just these really cute cutouts and deep V. And really I love the color for fall too. I think this hot pink looks so good with rust and with ochre yellow. So though it does not fit me right now, I will definitely still get some wear out of it this year, even if it's just wearing it like a skirt and then doing a big sweater over the top of it. But I will also absolutely be wearing it because I love whenever there's a fun funky cutout to do like a pattern turtleneck underneath it for just like some coverage but also just interesting pattern mix and since the sleeve is like a three quarter then I think it'll be really cool to do a pattern turtleneck and like a chunky boot and take something that's a little more formal kind of and make it kind of casual. So you will definitely be seeing different parts of this dress still as a dress but styled in so many different ways. I'm so excited about this one. Okay, how beautiful is this dress? I am so in love with this dress and I'm so glad that it fits right now, but I'm also just so excited for all of the possibilities because this is a free people dress that I thrifted and it's a great example of something that's not maternity, but fits the bump really well. So I did throw on just a little tank top under here. Honestly, I've been wondering what layering under it looks like, but also just wanted a little more coverage because it is kind of deep V and open, which I think will be so great once I do layer it or even like wear it kind of in a beachy way because it has these little lower arm drops too that I think would be great as a cover-up or just like a nice dinner at the beach. But since it is that almost terry cloth knit, it is a good bit thicker and so it's really a great weight and a great color, that kind of winter white color for fall and winter. So I feel like I really got this in the perfect season because I will definitely be doing this with leather jackets and maybe like a yellow turtleneck and a chunky boot, but I do think it'll also be really beautiful to maybe do like I have a crocheted sweater that would look really pretty underneath it. But also I think a button down would look really cute underneath this and maybe like a pair of mules and adding some color to it. But it has these gorgeous pockets and just the details and the fit is so beautiful. So I'm so excited about this one too. Yet another beautiful, flowy, creamy dress. I love this dress. These are the kinds of dresses that I have just been living in through pregnancy because the smocking on it is so comfy and there's always enough room for whatever I need, but there's also enough coverage so I don't feel like I'm just out in the world. But when I picked up this one, I honestly didn't think that I would love it as much as I do because I don't really go for black and white typically, but the black and white on this, the black is so subtle and the white is so creamy, but I have worn this so many times already because it's just so comfortable and so beautiful and kind of one of those stand on its own dresses. And even though it does stand alone really well, I've paired it with vests. I've paired it with some blouses over the top to kind of cover the sleeves and do some pattern mixing. You could also do open sweaters or pullover sweaters and just treat it kind of like a skirt. But I love it with a bold colorful earring and pairing it with my chunky white platforms because it just feels like very me, very easy right now. So I am going to style the heck out of this one, especially since I've already worn it so many times. So love this dress. This one I did not expect to love as much as I do. It's a free people dress and so I felt like I could not pass it up, but I just wasn't sure how I was gonna like style it I guess but putting it on especially with it like pretty much fitting I know there's a little pulling here but that's mainly the pockets it's just a really cute maternity dress without being maternity and this is actually a size small and so I think it's supposed to be like really column kind of dress but it gives such a cute shape and the pockets I think are a really fun detail especially this little bust pocket and the ruffles deep in the front 
Deepy in the back. So really beautiful details to this dress. And I got it because I've been wanting some more kind of casual pieces. And once bump is gone, I do think it'll fit in that really like oversized, but still flattering sort of way. And the color is really interesting too, because it's not an exact brown. There's like a good bit of green in this brown. And I personally think it looks really great with my skin tone and hair. And so I did not expect to like this one as much as I do, but I really am loving it. And I'm really glad that I have a little bit of a maternity dress to wear in this, but also will wear it after. And I think again, to fall it up a little, I would probably do like a blazer or a black leather jacket would be really cool. And maybe some boots, but also adding some pattern to it might be fun. Or using it as like just a simple skirt and doing a big sweater kind of hanging over the top. Lots of opportunities since it's such a simple kind of dress. So love it. Love, 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 love <laughs> everything about this dress. This is the dress that I've been looking for for quite some time and I can't believe that it fits me right now. I am so excited about this piece, especially for all of the fall things because I feel like it is the perfect throw on dress. So it is a little bit distorted because bump and it makes it a little bit shorter because I tied this pretty tight up under my waist because I like the way this looks a little blousier with this kind of fitted piece. I love that it's not just like waistband from here, but they gathered it a little lower and did some pockets in this tier. And then the beautiful smocking details on the wrist with the little ruffle, and then on this neckline with the ties. Everything about this is just so interesting. And one of my other favorite parts is that if I untied this and let it kind of like pull out and be looser, then it could also have like a little bit of a casual paper baggy feel. So this is absolutely going to be my throw on dress of the season, especially in this amazing color. You guys know that this is like my color, my favorite color for year round. So perfect. I will never get over finding this dress. So that is all I have to say. Done. I'm just done. <laughs> I can't believe I thrifted this. That is the most insane thing. So really funny story. I was in one of my best friend's weddings in June of this year and I actually got my mom to make a dress that is essentially a much nicer version than this. So here's a little picture of the dress that we made and it's like luxe versus dupe kind of version of this dress with this being the dupe because this one is just I think like Fashion Nova or something random, but I could not resist getting it because one, now I have a cheaper version that I can just wear all the time because I want to wear my fancy one all the time, but it's fancy and it's nice and it's handmade by my mom. So I feel like I can't, but then I found this one and I don't care if it's kind of a cheaper fabric and not like the best quality. It's so amazing and so, so very me. So I can already tell you, I'm gonna be pairing this with turtlenecks underneath it. I'm gonna be doing this with sweaters over the top of it. Probably doing it in the summer with just sneakers, maybe pairing like a white tank top underneath it just to add something to the top. But it's so bump friendly too, that it's like, I'm just gonna wear this now with like a big rust sweater and make the more neon orange feel kind of folly. But also I just feel like a giant pumpkin and it's the best feeling ever for fall. So I do think I am going to take just like probably half of the bottom tier off of it. So it's that like perfect ankle length instead of being so long to the floor. Gold, just golden and I love it. So of course we are closing out in this amazing dream of a dress that I still cannot believe is thrifted. So thank you so much for joining me today and trying on all of these amazing thrifted pieces. I hope you're inspired to shop secondhand and find sustainable pieces that feel like you and express exactly who you are. So I will see you later. You are well loved. Bye.